everybody and welcome back to another Code Dragon video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set a timer on code.org in just a few simple lines of code. So let's just get started. So I'm going to go to design and get a label. Actually three labels. One, two, and three. So now I'm going to increase the size of each one of them. Go all the way okay so now I'm gonna leave the ones on the two ends blank and just this one I'm gonna put a cologne over there I'm gonna increase its size yeah that's enough now these two are going labels are going to be named IBL seconds and IBL minutes. Now I'm just going to increase their font sizes by that. Yeah, so font sizes are going to be 45. So now I'll just bring my middle closer. Yes, so I'm going to go to code and I want to make a few variables. Variable x equals 0. And I'm going to set this number in IBL seconds. x. Now I'm going to create another variable called variable y. I'm going to set this number in IBL minutes. Why? So when I click on run, they both are there. But let me just arrange them a bit so they look better. So I'm going to take this one and make it like this, and this one I'm going to make it like this. So I'm just going to put a sample text over there so I know how they look. So I'm just going to bring this closer, bring that closer. So now I'm going to do that. Yeah. So this looks good enough. Yes, this looks good. But now all I have to do is make this the blank. And this blank as well. Yeah. So now I'm going to go to code. And I'm going to get a timed loop from controls. So timed loop. But when's this timed loop going to start? So I'm going to go to design and get a button over here. This button's name is going to be start. Okay. So now on event button one click. Go to UI controls and get an on event. Put this inside it. So on event button one click. So timed loop every one second. It's written in milliseconds, that's why. So every one second, x equals. I want to go to math and get a plus. Then x plus one. Then I want to set this number in IBL seconds. X. But now, every 60 seconds, the number in minutes should increase by 1. So I'm going to go to timed loop. Every 60,000 milliseconds, we should go to variables. Then y this time. y math plus y plus plus one set number in IBL minutes Y okay now after it increases by one you can't just let the second increase 60 it, it should not go above 60 that's why I'm going to set X to zero and I'm even going to set this number over there. 
set number I will seconds X so now let's run it run start one two three four five six seven so I'll get back to you guys when it's 50 seconds so yeah so guys it's at 50 seconds we just have to wait for a couple of more seconds and we can see that in the IBL seconds the number is going to become zero and IBL minutes is going to become one so you saw it like that now all we have to do okay so now all we have to do is make a stop button so we can stop the timer so I'm going to go to design get a new button stop okay so now on a man button to click stop time loop that's it on event button to click I'm just gonna go to controls and get a stop time loop be careful not to put this on event inside the time loop or else it can really mess up your timer so I'm gonna go to run so now I'm gonna click on start it's gonna reset it now I'm gonna run it again Click on start. So now when I click on stop, it stopped. So you guys, I successfully made a timer right in front of you. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And please hit the like button. Don't forget to do that. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.